of Nigeria, the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission and the Ministry of Petroleum have been working to find practicable and lasting solutions to the challenge of gas supply to power for electricity availability to Nigerians. This led to the paying off of the 36.9 billion naira owed to gas suppliers by the power sector to resolve liquidity and infrastructure challenges in the power sector. The Minister of Petroleum, Mrs. Deziani Alisi Maduke, said that with the launch of the Nigeria Electricity Market Stabilization Facility, appropriate security mechanisms will be put in place to ensure that gas sold to the power sector gets paid so as to achieve a viable and sustainable gas sector. Mrs. Alice Maduke highlighted the progress recorded in the gas sector so far. Let me also assure on short-term progress in gas supply. Today, the Uturogo Ogeli gas plant is actually producing at its highest level. As production ramps up from about 350 million scuffs per day a few months ago to over 400 million scuffs per day currently. So we're also making good progress in the construction of the bypass gas pipeline to Alaoji. This will also add approximately 100 million scuffs of gas per day to power allergy and the Calabar IPP before the end of December. In addition, the supplies to Baran IPP are also being finalized for readiness before the end of December. Mrs. Alice Maduke expressed optimism that with the project listed, the target of 5,000 megawatts by the end of December would be met. Also, the Minister of Power, Professor Chinedu Nebo, said that the facility would set to certain outstanding debts in the Nigerian electricity supply industry and guarantee the take-off of the transitional electricity market. Because of all the synergy, especially between petroleum resources and power, for the first time in the history of this country, for six weeks running, we have been able to generate between 4,000 and 4,500 megawatts continuously. Consequently, stakeholders in the energy sector hope that these interventions will bring permanent closure to the challenge of inadequate electricity generation in the country. For Voice of Nigeria, I am Titi Laya Ipinjolu reporting. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Nigeria has launched a 10% composite cassava flour and the commissioning of baker's equipment in Abuja. The aim is to promote high-quality cassava flour, cassava flour processors, millers, and industrial baker's operations in the country. Voice of Nigeria's correspondent, Ali Masali, who was at the launch, reports that the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Akimumi Adeshina, said plans were on the way to present a draft policy on composite flour to the Federal Executive Council for consideration within the next few weeks. Given this hint, when the Minister formally launched the 10% composite cassava flour and commissioning of baker's equipment in Abuja, Dr. Adeshi noted that the proposed policy targets the use of 10% cassava or sorghum flour in all bread produce in Nigeria by December 2016, adding that the policy would be gazetted as soon as the Federal Executive Council approved it, thereby making the cassava bread project to stay in Nigeria. Every Nigerian must change. We must personalize the crop grown by Nigerian farmers and our local food. We must process and add value to everything that we produce. We must end decades of political economics, where we leave crops to build by our farmers to work, while we keep farmers in other countries exporting food to Nigeria busy and very happy. The minister also indicated the move to launch 10 new cassava processing factories as part of its efforts to consolidate on the cassava value chain benefits to the nation's food security and by implication catalyzing it into non-oil revenue and investment sources for the country. We have also trained over 1,000 bakers on production of cassava bread and we continue to train another 4,000 bakers. To make the cassava bread even cheaper, we have embarked on a major effort to raise the production of cassava through the establishment of large mechanized cassava farms. Dr. Adesina, who recalls the remarkable strides that have been achieved under the cassava value chain of the agricultural transformation agenda, described the increase in investments in cassava processing to the dynamism of private sector investment, which he says had never happened before in Nigeria's history. In Abuja, Halima Omar Saleh for Voice of Nigeria. 26 Nollywood movie producers have received a grant of 215.5 million naira 
from the Nigerian government under the initiative project Act Nollywood. With the grant, producers will co-fund and produce a movie not later than three months from the specified dates of this contract. The project director, Dr. Supo Ulusi, is in an interview with Voice of Nigeria's correspondent, Hawan Noro, in Abuja, said the grant was to ensure sustainability of the movie industry in the country. Grant 215.5 million naira. Individually, the grants have a range. It can range from anything from 2 million to 15 million, depending on the kind of movie they want to make. But what is important is this. They are also putting their money into the film project. So it's not that we are giving them grants as co financing So at the end of the day, they have to come up with a product that is financed jointly by Project Act Nollywood and their own resources. You know, for all of them are receiving grants. Is there a time frame that they must have produced this movie? Yes. They have a time frame. It varies based, depending on what they want to do. It varies and they have a, various time um, lines within their MOUs. But what is important is this, that we have, there's a provision in their MOUs that they 